Hi, I'm Paul Darley, and thanks for tuning in to our September issue of Inside Darley. If you're turning on the TV and watching the news, you're certainly aware that this is uh, one of the worst fire seasons, wildfire seasons that we've had in the United States on record. And in fact, according to the National Interagency Fire Center, there's been over 7.5 million acres burned as of August 23rd in a total of 41,715 wildfires. So I'd encourage you, if you want more information on that, to go to uh, nifc.gov. Uh, just filled with uh, statistical information. And Darley's always had a very, our hearts go out to those who have lost their lives, and we've always had a very close relationship with this wildfire community. In fact, most of these agencies specialize in, and utilize Darley pumps on their vehicles from the U.S. Forest Service to the Bureau of Land Management, CAL FIRE, the Bureau of Indian Affairs, the Park Service, just about all of them have our pumps on their trucks. So we at Darley certainly feel good about at least doing a small part to um, help in this fight against fires. Our first attachment here is actually a report was just recently uh, released this year by the NFPA and it's called Trends and Patterns in the Fire Losses. It's really got some interesting data. First off, the number of fires, as you probably know, has been declining over the last 15 years, but that's primarily, as the data here shows, uh, primarily due to a decline in vehicle fires and unclassified fires. And surprisingly, there's been very little decline in actual structure fires. And Chief Bobby Halton from Fire Engineering pointed this out in a issue, uh, an article that he published uh, in early August. And still, while only 4% of all fire responses these days are to fires, and 68%, if you can imagine, are to EMS calls, the number of actual, uh, the amount of damage created by structural fires has been on the increase significantly. And going back to 1983, the number of responses that fire departments have made has more than tripled uh, in 2014 compared to uh, uh, 1983. So pretty significant there. In fact, there were 31.6 million calls uh, last year, fire calls made last year. You know, here in the America, while the stock market's certainly having a very uh, difficult time sputtering along due to primarily the uh, crisis over in China, on a very positive note, the market for new fire apparatus sales in the United States is up year over year taking the first uh, January through June of 2015 and comparing it to 2014, the number of new orders was up 14.5% according to FEMA numbers. So that's great uh, news for the fire service and certainly a shot in the arm for uh, those of us who uh, deal in that market. And hopefully you as a fire department can use that uh, information to help justify your new apparatus purchase. You know, Darley's been able to find some growth markets despite this tough fire market over the last few years. And for the sixth year in a row, we've been listed as Inc. On Inc.'s uh, 5,000 list is one of the fastest growing companies in, uh, in the United States. And it's very rare uh, to have a company go six years in a row running on that. So we're very proud of our achievements and thank our devoted employees and you, our, our customers, for helping us to achieve that. You know, this last article that we've attached here is, is uh, entitled 21 Keys to Success from Military Generals. And I think of all the articles that we've shared with you over the past year, probably the one that we received the most comments and feedback from was an article similar to this. And this is from a uh, staff sergeant who went and uh, worked with uh, several, uh, or in fact, four generals over, over a 20-year period. And he's put his keys from watching these generals and observing these four different generals over time on uh, what really were their keys to success. And some of them are very basic. I mean, respect others and make sure that you're looking at capabilities and not rank. Make sure that you counsel in private and praise in public. Acknowledge those who work behind the scenes and give a clear vision. So that's five of the 16, but I would encourage you to take a look at that. So thanks for tuning into this issue of Inside Darley. If there's anything we can be doing to support you, we hope you'll reach out to us.